Well, we're just about ready to go here in uh, what should be an intriguing game in conditions which may prove testing. There are plenty of talking points around this game, but not the least of them is the snow that we have had. There were concerns that it could cause the match to be called off. I'm glad to report that hasn't been the case. The pitch has been well cleared, but the conditions will certainly add an extra dimension to the competition. This must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. Jim, how are you reading the formation? Well, one of the attacking advantages in this setup, Peter, is the impact that can be made between fullbacks and the attacking wide players. These combinations, when worked well, can be a real handful for any opposition, and we're likely to witness that again. You often see the wide man drift inside to allow the fullback to make the run out wide, and it can just throw the opposition off kilter. And if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Yeah, Paolo Dybala. His game's all about control and subtlety, rather than power and strength. But that doesn't make it any less effective. He can go past defenders with a couple of silky skills, create shooting opportunities for himself, or open things up. Insignia! What a start, and what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something, given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. That is just remarkable, the amount of bend he got on that. You know, I'm not going to be hard on the goalkeeper because that moved all over the place on its journey. Well, that has certainly made things interesting. Juventus have the league's best defensive record. Berateski. Bentancur. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Tries to stroke it through. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Napoli, clearly one of the informed teams in the league right now. Five wins out of five coming into this game, and hopes for them are rising all the time. Lorenzo Insigne, out to the left it goes, played back in. It's one! He scores! And they're at it again in double quick time! Napoli produced a lovely sequence of passes there. It's a terrific brand of football to watch, and importantly, it is a strong end product. So that's two now without reply. 
that second goal is such a, a polarizing effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Battles to win it back. Una. Looking to get within range. Iniesta. Now it's Insignia. Insignia. In with a header! And more, and more, and more! And already they're looking to run away with it. Napoli are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Bentancur created that super goal to produce a lead in their last game. Foden gets wrestled off the ball. Now it's Dybala. And it's Alexandro. Dybala, and Dybala! Can he deliver? Quadrado played into the middle. And that's been levered clear. He gets past his man. It's one! Laporte. And it's played forward. Bernadeschi, the second half header, gave his side the lead in their last game. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Breaks on here. Alexandro, here it comes. It's come through and he's had a quick look inside. Bernadeschi. Foden, very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough... Is that a foul? Yes, the referee's given it. And he is going into that little black book. of the first half as easy as one two three it really has been that straightforward halfway through the match but very little to suggest that much will change in the second half peter do i really need to say anything or can i simply refer you to the scoreline napoli are cruising it at half time three mil ahead well, the action has already resumed here Juventus were grateful to the genius of their manager last time round. He's a manager who understands how important the bench can be and the timing of substitutions. If needed, he's quick to make changes, and I just think he has more than a plan B. Dybala. Shade too heavy. Keeper can pick that up. Koulibaly. And it's Insignia. That's offside, yes it is. A slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there.
Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the pass could have completed its journey. De Ligt. Dybala. Played into space out wide. Bernadeschi looking to get on the end of this. It's got... Has a pop! He's kept it out just... Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. Now a chance to break. Una. Bernadeschi. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Una. Fence has got rid of that. And it will be a throw-in. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Well, you have to feel a little for the player been taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Insigne already, of course, on the score sheet. Could be a chance here. Cut out in the nick of time. Dybala. Now it's Dybala. Now it's Polassi. Going for it, goes for goal! Oh, the ball's come loose! This could spell Richarlison! Oh, extraordinary. All he'd be thinking is, please, ground, swallow me up. We have got changes here, from both sides, in fact. Mertens. Just brushed off the ball there. Oh, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. <laughs> Fabian Ruiz. Doing no harm. <laughs> Insignia gets it back. Di Maria. That's a good ball to find him. Keeper's got his work done. Well, he's clearly not the only one who can't believe he didn't put it away. I think he's going to take some ribbon for that. Dybala. Dybala goes looking. Dashing forward at pace. And here's Insignia. Fabian Ruiz. Di Maria. And that has been clubbed away.
Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Panucci. De Ligt. Panucci. And that's that. Napoli have won big and in style. Everything went for them. Their four opponents left chasing shadows. A scintillating performance. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? I think it's all about setting the right tone at the start of a match. And if you can back that up with an early goal, it just energises everybody, the whole performance. And I think they were certainly more fluid as a result of the early goal. So that's it for today. Thank you, Jim. And good afternoon, all.